molten rock, churning, surging, cooling. This is the Earth at its birth, 4,600 million years ago. The Hadean Eon, named after Hades, Greek god of the underworld. Water from colliding comets appears 400 million years later, forming the oceans. The first life on Earth, most likely seeded from crashing meteors, spawns archaea and bacteria thriving in the new oceans. Not much changes for a billion and a half years. As Earth's tectonic plates begin moving, this causes geologic, chemical, and essential life changes, like this blue-green algae forming long chains of simple cells and generating massive amounts of oxygen on the planet for the first time. 400 million years later, the first cell with a nucleus evolves. These cells, powered by DNA, slowly try countless combinations to produce a plethora of microscopic diversity. This happens for over a billion and a half years. And develops the evolutionary engine that powers the Cambrian explosion of life starting 541 million years ago. Trilobites, Hallucigenia, and the five-eyed Opabinia are a few of the many weird creatures of this era. Although only a few inches long, they are the biggest creatures on the planet so far. Conodonts, relatives of today's lamprey eels, are the first fish to evolve. The deadliest carnivore of the Cambrian era is Anomalocaris. With its innovative body swimming flaps, compound eyes, and prey grasping arms, this shrimp ancestor had Opa Binias for breakfast. Arthoceras appears a little later during the Ordovician era. Initially small creatures, these sea hunters evolved over millions of years into 14-foot giants. Squid, octopus, and cuttlefish descended from Orthoceras. Horseshoe crabs appeared 440 million years ago and pretty much look the same today. The age of fish followed with even more creature innovations like Cephalapsis, Dunkleosteus, the nine foot long monster bony fish, Cladosalachi, the ancestor of all modern sharks, and the coelacanth, a fish that was found living off the coast of Africa in 1938. All four-legged creatures that have ever lived owe their existence to Tiktaalik rosea. Most directly, the amphibians like Ariops. They developed strong shoulders and limbs for walking, existing for 50 million years. In the Permian Age, the Dimetrodon, with its heat dissipating sail, was an apex predator carnivore. He was an early reptile and 12 feet long. But like most of life on Earth 251 million years ago, the Dimetrodons are doomed. Siberian volcanoes blast carbon dioxide that overheat the earth, shred the ozone layer. Ultraviolet rays make plants infertile. Bacteria belch methane. Oceans acidify, releasing hydrogen sulfide. It is the great dying, and it ends the Permian era. It is the largest extinction the earth has ever seen, with 96% of all life disappearing. But the Triassic brings new hope for two families, archosaurs and therapsids. Rausuchia is the first archosaur that leads the reptile age. They are the common ancestor for modern alligators. Lystrosaurus, an early member of the Therapsid family, likely survived the extinction because it could hibernate. It was the size of a pig and would lead to the evolution of mammals in the future. 
Colophysis is one of the early dinosaurs and would grow to a length of 10 feet. With sharp, serrated teeth, they were effective hunters working in packs. They welcomed the Jurassic era, the age of the dinosaurs. Other iconic denizen included pterosaurs, stegosaurs, and allosaurs. The time of the big dinosaurs is the Cretaceous, starting 145 million years ago. Pteranodons ruled the skies with a head seven feet tall and a wingspan of 20. The ferocious Tyrannosaurus rex was 36 feet long with 12 inch teeth. Triceratops, 30 feet long, equipped with three powerful horns, and the Monosaur terrorized the seas with a length of over 60 feet. The asteroid that ended most of the dinosaurs left its trace in the fossil record as a thin layer of iridium. It covers the entire planet because when the meteor containing rare element crashed, the pulverized dust spread in the high atmosphere before settling into this extinction boundary 65 million years ago. Called the Cenozoic, this is now the age of mammals. A little mouse-sized creature, Purgatorius, escaped the scorching planetary heat of the impact in its underground burrow, and was another big hero for us. Every mammal that exists today is thanks to Purgatorius. This includes Notharchus, an early primate that moved to the trees for safety. Hominids later became bigger, stronger, and smarter. Six million years ago, creatures that looked a lot like us began the last recent stage of evolution to become humans. This is the history of planet Earth. 4.6 billion years of it. But it's not the end. The sun will go on for another 5,000 million years before it runs out of fuel to keep Earth warm. Question is, what life will be on it?